Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. If you have any of the following three vehicles, guys, Chrysler 200, Dodge Ram, Promaster or Fiat 500 guys with a 2.4 multi-air engine guys and you're trying to locate and replace your knock sensor stay with us and we'll explain what needs to be done unfortunately guys in order guys okay to remove the knock sensor we have to get a few things out so stay with us we're going to explain all that you do not have to remove your engine to remove or replace your knock sensor uh, we got the engine out guys because we'll be having more than 200 videos on that engine alone guys Our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can And by removing that engine we can show you where every boat is located What needs to be done to replace different components and all that stuff guys So you can see it if it's in the car it's practically impossible If you need new, uh, new parts guys, knock sensor tools We have the links in the description of the video below So let's start on it and explain what needs to be done now so what do you guys need to do first the knock sensor guys okay for that knock sensor we will actually have to remove our intake manifold otherwise guys you cannot remove it so we will have to remove the intake manifold in order to get to it uh, it's really really complicated guys the other option will be to remove the cv axle and remove the starter that's another way but you have only two options cv axle and starter or remove the intake manifold we will re we'll show you the intake manifold in this video we have a video how to remove the cv axle and the starter if you want to check this one out as well check it out but first guys we need to disconnect our car battery before we continue it needs to be disconnected because uh, the knock sensor is next to the 12 volt battery wire on the starter guys and if you touch it with the wrench and i guarantee you you will you're going to see sparks flying everywhere it can hurt you it can get in your eyes you can set the car on fire you can guys burn your car computer and uh, you can damage quite a few things so disconnect the car battery first and we can continue after that so we will grab guys the engine cover and pull it straight out grab it pull it out we have four bushings guys you can see those four bushings attached to the valve cover so you can just remove it here you will have the air filter box you need to just pull that hose out vacuum hose and this clamp get it loose and you're going to remove guys that uh, hose from the air filter box after that here guys you will have one clamp ours is our one clip ours is broken guys you look like that get a clip remover too just pry it open here 10 millimeter socket let's go ahead okay remove that one now perfect what else we need to do guys okay quite a few things here okay we need to remove uh, get that clamp loose for the okay throttle body right there we need to guys remove the uh, wiring harness for the intake temperature sensor and we can go ahead and remove that thing out of there next at that point guys things get dangerous why because you have to disconnect okay your fuel line fuel line is under pressure when you disconnect it guys okay uh, it will spray fuel everywhere it can get in your, your eyes uh, wear eye protection gloves guys uh, do that only on cold engine don't have open flame spark no smoking anything like that because that fuel guys can catch on fire have a fire extinguisher so if you catch on fire or the car catch on fire you can pull it out or at least try to pull it out disconnect that clamp here now okay perfect and get it out now how we disconnect the fuel line again it will be under pressure guys ours is not because it's good but yours will be pull that blue thing up okay let me focus a little bit perfect pull it up now we need to turn it push the line all the way in then push that white thing in and pull it out great this is ready now what else this is the purge valve line you have two green things that you need to squish and you're going to pull it out after that okay it got stuck perfect you can guys go ahead and remove that foam piece now okay right there so we'll need to start we'll need to start guys disconnecting things now here uh, this is the okay this one is supposed to be closed it wasn't closed last time purge valve so slide that thing open press here and pull it out grab it okay well this one will actually stay here because it will stay on the intake 
it's part of the intake so we need to just disconnect the wiring harness next guys fuel injectors okay right there pull that red thing now you press here you disconnect it same thing applies there You can remove the purge valve if you want to, you just grab it and disconnect the hose and you can pull it out, it's your, your decision guys, but you can see we're done with that. Here we have the mass, uh, the map sensor, okay, this is known as map sensor, press down here, pull it out, now you're going to turn right here, about 90 degrees, or you can leave it, excuse me, you can leave it, I'm not going to replace it, uh, but if you want to get it out, that's how you get that thing out, just disconnect the wire here as well no wiring harness anymore here attach now we need to come on this way so that red thing we need to slide it back push on it pull it out now guys right here we're going to have okay we're going to have uh, later two bolts that we need to remove but you need to disconnect this is the starter wire from the intake manifold okay like that here two bolts with eight millimeter socket that hold okay that bracket right there you have two of them that we need to remove so we we'll need to okay now we can see both of them actually Okay, you can see one is coming out, one on top now. Okay guys, this one is out too. So we need to disconnect the hose from the throttle body, this is the vacuum hose here, okay, for the brake booster, pull it out, okay, just like that. Now this is the PCV hose guys, disconnect this one as well, it will stay there. Now we need to get on the bottom, okay, let us show you underneath of that engine and there is guys a bolt here that we need to remove. with 10 millimeter socket you can do it two ways you can remove that one and the whole mount will come out oh you can guys remove these two nuts it's your decision what you want to do so now it looks like guys we're getting closer and closer we need to guys remove two nuts and three bolts now and four screws right here these four screws, 8 millimeter. Okay, that whole thing comes out. Now why we had to remove that? Because we guys have two more bolts that are hidden here with 10 millimeter. Soak it. Okay, one on top, in the middle. We have one nut in the corner. Some of those you may drop, guys. One nut right here. Perfect. And let's see if that socket will fit here or we need to get a thin soak it okay it will make it i think no we need to get a socket that's uh, thinner for that 10 millimeter okay right there this one because otherwise it gets stuck there and you don't want to crack your intake manifold
Okay guys, so now you're going to grab it. Okay, all that should be loose now. You need to come out of here first. Ah, we forgot the mount right here for the throttle body. Okay, right here we have one mount with a bolt, 13 millimeter that we need to remove. I knew something was wrong. And go ahead, get it out. Perfect. And if you cannot remove it, you may need to remove that nut to get the mount out, but I think it will come out. Grab it and pull it, guys. You can see in the intake manifold came out. So every time you remove the intake manifold, it's recommended to get new gaskets if you need to buy some. We have, guys, the link in the description of the video below, but otherwise you can develop a vacuum leak, uh, increased RPMs, or the car not even being able to start. So now guys we need to get a torque socket, okay probably it's torque 45, let's check it out, uh, yep torque 45 start looking bit, if you need to purchase some guys they will be in the description of the video below, why well, we needed to disconnect it, our battery because we are right here next to the positive wire, this is guys where your knock sensor is located, okay you can see this is it, so go ahead and remove that bolt. Okay, and this one is super, super tight, guys. So we might have to do it by hand. Usually knock sensors are super tight. And one thing, they haven't been removed in a long time, guys. Okay, perfect. Got loose. Now we can grab it. bring it out around the starter you're going to squish right here on both sides and pull it out and this is guys your knock sensor if you need to purchase one guys we'll have the link in the description of the video below guys check it out where you can get one from putting it together is in reverse order we took it apart uh, again get new gaskets for your intake manifold that will be the time to replace them check for coolant leaks here water pump everything as well because it's wide open now Make sure you don't drop anything in your valves because you will damage your engine. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.